110. Degrees, not yards. We're at 90 right now. All right, uh, two videos ago, I came out here and told you that I had lost a, I don't know, I don't know if it's a significant amount of weight, but uh, I have lost about 12 pounds since I got to where I am right now. Um, and that's just been in the last, what, five months, something like that. Um, th the way I did that was I changed up my diet by a lot. Um, I used to eat a lot of rice, um, meat, and, um, and, and broccoli, um, along with like various fruits and stuff like that. But, uh, I switched the white rice to riced cauliflower. So I just got a food processor, uh, chop it up raw and feed it to that food processor. And it just basically makes it into a fluffy kind of like mixture. Um, and I replaced that with, uh, with the rice or I replaced the rice with that. And that's pretty much what I eat on a daily basis, uh, three times a day. And then the last couple weeks here, I've been intermittent fasting, which I guess is the new fad. Um, basically you just don't eat in the morning and then you have a window of time, a, a period of time where you basically just gorge yourself. Not really, but you fit all your meals into a specific tiring period, like six to eight hours or something like that. So basically what I've been doing is skipping breakfast in the morning, having a ton of coffee at work, and then around 11 a.m. Uh, I eat my first meal, and then around 6 p.m., 6.30, 7, uh, I eat my last meal. So that has, uh, I think, turbocharged my... I don't know, weight loss. Also, the thing about switching from rice to cauliflower rice, it is way easier on my digestive, digestive, ugh, digestive system. And uh, I don't have nearly as much uh, bloating, if at all, anymore. So that's really, really good. It's something that I've kind of battled with is just bloating after meals and stuff like that. And that's just because I had a trash diet, but uh, it's working. And I've maintained my energy throughout the entire process so it's it's worked out well for me that's the one thing that you know with changing up your diet like you'll lose energy and it just it just won't work out after a long period of time or you'll be at such a deficit that you just fall off a wagon and don't want to do it anymore with what i've been eating changing that white rice to cauliflower riced cauliflower i can eat as much of that as i want i eat about 10 to 15 pounds of that stuff every single week. Four and a half pounds of ground beef mixed with a package of bacon just to feed my, I don't know, feed my appetite. And then uh, throw in a couple of broccoli crowns in there and that's basically a meal prepped container full of food. So uh, that's been going really well. And I feel good, my digestive system feels good, and I don't get terrible hunger cravings. I just completely fall off the wagon and start eating trash every single day. So the reason why I'm doing that is not necessarily to, I don't know, I, it's not necessarily to look better. It's in anticipation of doing a whole bunch of hiking with weight on the less weight I have, or the less the less trash weight I have on my body, the better, the more I'll be able to carry and the, the better my joints will feel every single day. And that's that's the that's the thing is I never I, I'm I was at like 225. I weighed myself I don't know two days ago and I was 208. I haven't been down to 208 in probably five or six years. The most I ever went down to was 193, and I had to punish myself, torture myself to get down to 193, and all my muscles felt terrible. It just it just felt like my body was not getting fed, and right after that, I decided I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore, and I went right back up to 215, like almost immediately. 
Uh, it, it may have just been water weight that, I don't know, maybe I was dehydrating myself unknowingly, but yeah, I, I, uh, I was at one point in my life 300 pounds. I was in high school. Uh, I was playing football and I just got up to 300 pounds and then after high school I dropped down to around 225 and that's pretty much where I've hung out. Besides the 193 that's pretty much where my comfortable weight is so I'm just trying to switch that comfortable weight from 225 to about 205. Still doing workouts with kettlebells and stuff like that. Uh, I've just kind of changed up my workouts as well to the point where I don't do barbell stuff anymore. I don't do you know heavy weight. I pretty much do kettlebell stuff, work on endurance and cardio and stability is pretty much the biggest thing that I work on right now and that helps me and kettlebells help me with that. Keeping one position for a certain period of time doing slow reps and uh, doing kettlebell swings and stuff like that. It's really helped my core out as well. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. Let's take another shot real quick at 90. See where we're at. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, I've never wanted to be like 180 pounds. I'm just not that type of human. I don't think my bone structure is the type to be 180 pounds. So, and at six foot one, almost six foot two, like I'm, I'm fine being 200 pounds for, you know, the rest of my life. It feels good. It's the weight that I feel good at. And, you know, it's not really about the weight anymore. It's about, the amount of like good weight that you have on your body because I mean and, and your body composition as well so if I get up to 230 pounds and I'm just rock muscle which I won't be uh, then the, the body composition would be great then again if I was at 208 pounds and I had a gigantic massive gut that would not be a good body composition so it's just one of those things where don't go for weight and also when you're training or dieting or do anything, doing anything like that, don't have like a target weight or what you want to look like. Have something to train for. So for instance, if you're going to be Western hunting and you're going to be walking five miles with a backpack on, uh, that's what you train for. You know, if, if you don't, if you don't get to a point where you can do that on a regular basis, uh, then you need to start training and train for that, to train for the ability to do that. Don't just go into the gym and go, well, I, I want to look like X or Y human being, you know. Um, that's always worked for me. So. Let's take another shot.
Okay, so that's kind of my diet and exercise regime. Not that anybody cares, but I mean, I've never, I've never, I feel like with the switch to the diet I made, I don't eat any less. It's just more quality in my diet. So I've never been able to lose weight like that. Um, and my muscles still feel good. I still feel pretty strong. My hand got tired there holding up the camera as I was talking about being strong. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just an update on me and my goal. I kind of want to be at around 205, maybe 200 during hunting season. Uh, and I think I'm going to work on hiking with a backpack on with weight in it like I did um, two videos ago. Hmm, this is interesting. So I just spare shaft tuned a couple. Um, and this one is way off to the right. So I'm going to keep an eye on lucky number 13 um, and see what's going on with that. Whether that was a mistake by me or whether that's a wonky arrow. So let's take another shot at 90 and see how we're doing after that. It is very easily, uh, look at that, slurring my words. It is very easy to get dehydrated very quickly out here, which is what I think's happening. That'll happen to you when it's 110 with 30% humidity, which out here feels like a lot. It feels like 120 right now. It's not, it's not usually this humid throughout the year, but I have heard that in this particular area, uh, around this time of year, it is pretty humid. So, these went all over the place. It was very shaky on that one. Okay. Here's my group. Not very good. One more.
one more video today, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I might sit in my car for 10 minutes with the uh, air conditioning on, see if I can cool off real quick, drink some water. Anyways, that is my plan for my diet and exercise ramp up to hunting season. We'll see if I have the self-discipline to stick to that. Maybe, maybe not. I'm a fat boy at heart and I eat like a ravenous grizzly bear 100% of the time. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I'll see you next time.